Hello, baby. Hello, Nasty. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. Hello, friend. Hello, little girl. Hello, my treacherous friends. Hello, operator. The big gang of everything. Welcome back, my friends. It's showtime. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 367. Hey everybody, it's episode 304 of The Brink of Sanity. What? I am Jane with <laughs> Gina's mom. Yo. Say, what, Jay, what the hell are you doing? I don't know. Brinkception. That was weird. Don't like that at all. We're off podcast. What, what, in a Jay, podcast. Had it, first of all, I just went to the Twitch, and I'm, I'm watching a commercial for the Forever Purge. When did we get advertising, Jay? Uh, we, it does we, it automatically. When, when we got affiliated. Right? We're, we're affiliates on Twitch now. I you, so great. I have to watch a goddamn advertisement every time I want to go to our own our own Twitch account. You like, just, what the hell just happened to the opening, Jay? You, you just Get on us, this, Jay. Fix this shit. Listen, you just made us a nickel. <laughs> so it's all worth it. Although what I was read, the ad for? Rolling in those nickels. Yeah. Although I read what that um, about 60% the of... The ad was uh, for the Forever Purge. The new Purge movie. Um, Ooh, I'm gonna oh, watch it's a that. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Purge series. Um, apparently, the Purge series likes our show. Break a Sandy Purge. We we're, we support the Purge. I mean, are are you guys the official podcast of the hit movie Forever Purge? We should yeah, be if, uh, considering yeah, if, some if, of if our the Forever Purge. Okay, okay. So don't try to talk on the show. Uh, <laughs> it's the Forever Purge, Jay. Um, like our affiliation there with with the show, and mm -hmm. they sent you free movie tickets. Would you go see the movie? I would. I, I really want to see this movie. You would brave COVID to go to the movie theater. I know you're fully vaxxed, so I would. Are you, you feel comfortable? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What if they're giving out the Delta? What if what if with the popcorn you get the Delta variant? Mm. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got my vaccine. I'm good. I think uh, California, Cal Los Angeles County said that uh, vaccinated people still need to wear masks. I'm sure that's going to work. I, I feel like the purge would go very well with some of our listeners. Dude, I'm the purge is no longer like sci-fi or horror or dystopia. It's just like straight up like beautiful fantasy. It's like, it's the, like what uh, if? It's like the 125th Imagine. Avenue subway. Yeah. I mean, I'm, aren't you pretty sure that like people in QAnon think The Purge was like a documentary from the future? Um, probably, probably, but that that would be sort of a cool thing to believe because maybe it would make them like you know, I don't know, just like bunker up or something and just get the hell off of like TV and Congress. Yes, yes, that would be. Uh... Do you guys like getting old? So, do I like having random getting pains? old? But yeah. Do I yeah. like having my hair fall off the top of my head and grow down my back and neck? It's awesome. Peter, how's, how's getting old going for you? Uh, it's been okay. Uh, you know, it's, I think, I think I've been, I've had a decent track record until like last year of, um, upward ascent. But I think last year was a downward year for like pretty much everyone except, uh, like Jeff Bezos or whatever. <laughs> Peter, how, how old are you? You don't, you don't mind sharing on the show? Uh, I just turned 40. Okay, so if you had a choice, you could go up from here or down from here. What would you do? And let's just say you have like, let's just say God just like, we give you the choice. Of course, if you could go down from here, you're gonna hit zero and just be done. Forty, hmm. you can live to all. You can have all those awesome years after eighty. Yeah, I'd probably go up. I probably would. I think it's gonna be a little bit different, like for us when we're. 80 than like what an 80 year old is like today just like a 40 year old or a 30 year old today is like super different from 20 years ago um so i i, I try my luck and and figure that whatever like weird you know secret rich people magic they had to bust out to make this covid vaccine is also used to treat like other stuff maybe you know um so i'd go up I, I'll, I'll take that gamble if you, jay what do you do would you go up or down from here and also like going down means you're gonna go back you're going to go through puberty in reverse at some point. At some point, you're like, where'd my dick go? <laughs> Would I go up or down in age? Yeah, you're going to you have a choice. So God comes to you and goes, just fucking around now, Jay, as you can tell through life. Um, you want to go <laughs> up or down from here? So we're going under the assumption that I'm living, I would live to 80 either way. So like I'm at the halfway point. 
No, I, yeah, I want to say wait, you're 42, right? Yeah, so I lived to 84. You can, yeah, you can live to 112. Like, hmm. there's no like, there's no upper limit on how old. There's you only are. a cap if you go down because you yes. only get 42 years. Or whatever. Right, and the, right. And it's gonna get. I, I mean, like, as you go up, you may become feeble. You go down, you know, you're gonna become feeble at some point. Yeah, and you're gonna get stupider too. Both directions, probably. Yeah, Wait, you yeah. you lose your like knowledge? Well, yeah, mean... yeah, no. You at some point you are smart as a fourth grader, then you're smart as a third grader. Oh, oh, yeah. so it's not even like Benjamin Button disease. It's literally you become a baby again. I, I didn't see Benjamin Buttons, and I, I know the general premise. Does he does he does he stay smart as a baby or like yeah? Or he, he lives his life. He, he just lives his life in reverse. So he's like oh, he's born yeah. as a feeble old ass man, and he's like pretty useless. But then he gets like younger, I guess. And as he gets younger, like, you know, he has those life experiences and memories and he falls in love or whatever. And then the woman he falls in love with, like, ends up caretaking for him as a baby until he dies. I would probably. So do you want to be Benjamin Buttons, Jack? I would probably go forward. But ask me again in 10 years when we're on episode like 800. Make a note. I mean, for the actual purge, right? Yeah. I'm thinking the years 20 to 40 are probably better than the years 40 to 60. Maybe. Just in your general health. Am I getting progressively poorer again, too? <laughs> because yeah. is that, is, is, at some point, did you get rich? Oh, can I go back to college, though? Uh, sure. Yes, you can go back to college, and you're going to do, um, as, we, as we're changing this bit, or changing this, um, this hypothetical, you're going to go through school in reverse also. I don't want to go back to school, think, man. Think about it. Think about it, Jay, though. You get to hook up with children again. Think about <laughs> <that>. Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah well God. you did it on the way up right yeah at some point you were allowed to have the children of course you had to be a child at the same time <laughs> yeah that was that was me fulfilling my one like uh pedophile like you know set for the spike joke uh in the contract just oh yes yes it. every one every break episode. show we have to have a pedophile joke thank you thank you peter um thanks tune it's in, in the, the union second- contract <laughs> Tune in for hour three of our show where pedophilia goes off the rails. Oh, yeah. Um, I went to, uh, have you guys, do you guys go to a skin doctor? I haven't been in about a year, but I do. Peter, you go? I don't think I've been to one in a very long time. I can't remember the last time. I haven't been to one in about 42 years. Um, I didn't know that was the thing you're supposed to do. My wife's like, you have pale skin. That's what you got to do. So I went the other day. Wait, wait, I thought you said sleep doctor. What? Didn't you say sleep doctor? No, I said uh, skin. I said skin. Oh, skin doctor. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Mark's going to a sleep doctor because he's pale. Are you a vampire? <laughs> um, that would make more sense. Skin. The guy's like, of course you're not supposed to be sleeping at night. You're a vampire, you moron. Okay, yes. I have been to a skin doctor too, though. I, I understand the idea that it's, it's important because, like, you can get sick and die. Um, I I went there. Have you got? I went there. The guy's like, "This looks weird. This looks weird. This looks weird. This looks weird." He took four biopsies from me, which basically means he's cut off four parts of my skin, mm-hmm. which just feels awesome. So you're just like, falling apart before our very eyes. Like last yeah, episode, basically you're like, he's like, "I'm going to cut off this on your leg, and this on your leg, this on your nose, and uh, this is your back." I was like, "Okay." He's like, do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Life's getting more and more awesome. Just, just go for it, dude. <laughs> so you just went from like sleep apnea last episode to weird growths on your skin this episode. Yeah. So I had sleep apnea. Peter, if you don't know, I had sleep apnea. My sleep also yeah, is yeah. atrocious. I, uh, I listened to the podcast. Perfect. Uh, um, yeah. And now I have whatever atypical or like he's like, he's like, I'm just trying to be overly cautious. But I'm going to cut you multiple times today. Oh, awesome! No. That sounds wonderful. Sorry, I just uh, I just watched Giannis destroy his knee. What? Oh, oh no! Shit! Are you kidding? No. I mean, I know you're not like, kidding, but uh, like what bad, happened? Bad. Like he landed on one leg, and that leg bent uh, backwards. Uh, no, 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 is he, no. Is he on the flo- no. Is he on the floor? He's in the locker room now. Oh, fuck. Anyway, well, sorry. It's sorry Trey's not playing, so... Uh, by the way, Trey, the Hawks are winning tonight because of the Hewing Theory. I don't know why that's not a bigger thing right now on Twitter. 
What theory? The you, you know the Patrick Ewing theory, right? The Ewing theory. Specific. I mean, I know several Patrick Ewing theories, which uh, to which the do you Hewing refer? The Ewing theory is when Ewing got injured, the Knicks played better, and they called it the Ewing theory because basically, when you're not, when everyone's not waiting for the one guy to win the game for you, they, everyone else plays better as a team without the guy. Got it. Got it. I, I always thought think of the Ewing theory as the. I guess maybe it's more like the frozen envelope theory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's a, that's a different thing. But I, I it was a big thing around that time when they went to the second the second championship. Yeah, it was ninety nine, um, right? It was yeah. the, against the Pacers, I believe. They called it basically. It was like a theory from there. Like a team played like you take out the star player, and sometimes they play better because everyone just waits for the star player to win the game for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they did play much better. I mean, they were like clinical. No, they were much. They were much better. And uh, currently, the Haw- and I, I don't necessarily think the Hawks are better without Trey, but they currently clearly are playing pretty well without him. Yeah. How how is he out for the rest of the like playoffs? Who knows? He just ran. Uh, ran. He he just limped to the locker room. So I. I'd be... Are you talking about Giannis? Um, the, um, Trey has a sprained ankle. He may be back next game. Got it. Anyway, uh, enough of the sports talk because uh, Bring fans don't like that. So it says you. <laughs> um, so anyway. who's watching the Euros? I'm just uh, I, am, I am. I am. By the yeah. way, but you know. When you say Euros, wanna... are we talking about European porn? Or are we talking about <laughs> uh, sliced lamb on a pita? Mm. Oh, that sounds pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm, I would go for that. Um, that I assume you're pronounced. talking about soccer? That's how it's pronounced, yeah, the Euro- Americans say gyro. European soccer championship, yeah. Um, not, not to be confused with the Champions League, which my team, Chelsea, won, which is like the greatest honor in club football. This is like the na- – it's like basically after the World Cup, this is the second biggest national tournament. Thank you, Peter, for bringing up a topic I like even less than Jay talking about comic books. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to do oh, some it. comic talk? It's been a while. It's been a few episodes. It has been pretty what good. Would, can, you, you, can you do a, a comic book talk? Is there a comic about European soccer? Because then I'd be fucking, I'd be just all in. <laughs> I'm sure there is. What would be, if you had to pick one to talk about for like two hours, but you had to be an active participant, uh, Mark, and your choices were video games comic books or soccer what would you pick and or rank I, them in order i would do video games places. video games first because i had some i there was some point in my life i liked video games a lot more and i could jump into a conversation about tech mobile or rbi baseball i could bring up and I, I could also talk about how video games were a lot better back then versus now um which is NBA not true, and so forth yeah. comics versus european soccer or just soccer uh, in general, not necessarily European. No, any, I want European. I want I want European, just specifically European soccer. Um, okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> I will take European soccer over um, comics. Oh wow! I, I did not see that coming. Wow. Um, you don't. You don't want to hear about know. the. Uh, the yeah, I have to rank them. You don't want to hear about the trade of the visions I'm reading right now. I don't know. Is that a European soccer team or or a comic book? <laughs> The, the, did you see Avengers? Um, are you asking me for a, a purpose? Yeah, there's a guy Vision in there, and there's a comic about him, and he gets a synthetic family. Oh, yeah. cool! Yeah. What? What? Fine. What's a synthetic family? It's a bunch of visions, but in a wife and two robots. kids version. Yeah, yeah. They're they're robots, but they it's like a synthetic robot that kind of acts like a human. Okay, <laughs> that, that sounds like an amazing comic. Um, <laughs> that just sounds fucking riveting. Um, is it as good as it sounds, Jay? It it, it definitely is better than it sounds. What is it? Is, I, it be, is it better than ninety minutes of a one-one tie? Yes. Yes. I don't know, man. So the one-one tie today was like super thrilling. Uh, the Ukraine Sweden game, believe it or not. Like it was one one for most of the game. I'm really but sorry they were to, to cut you off What's on that? this. I'm sorry to cut you off on this very interesting story, but um, we we have a we have a top five to do. Oh. you just why you why you cut him off? No, I really oh, want right. to hear about the uh, the soccer game, but you know we're just. Well, running I'm just saying it was decided in the final minute, literally like the final like ten seconds, and there were a million missed chances. It was it was actually really exciting, even though most people probably skipped it. Um, 
but yeah, we could do top five or whatever, uh, whatever you guys I'll want. Like, to if, about. if the last two minutes of soccer are the most exciting, why play the other eighty-eight minutes? Lots of reasons. Lots of reasons. Um, because it, like, I think it ends up becoming like an endurance challenge, a mental challenge. Like, it's, it's, you know, I mean, I think it's obviously not for everyone, but it's the best. Jay, Peter, did, Peter didn't understand that. I didn't want an answer there. I know, I know. Oh, okay. uh, Sorry. Andrew, Andrew said before Mark turned into the oldest 30-year-old man he used to like video games. Um, I, oh, I was going to say... Yeah, go on. You know, just before I forget, because you were talking about, like, comics, video games and stuff, I would like to make some incredible media recommendations to you guys, like shows, like, at some point. Just don't let me forget. Cause just do it now. You, you brought it up. Do it now. We'll get the top five okay. right this. Okay. Very quickly two incredible like i don't watch much like tv shows and netflix and whatnot but these two shows get my highest highest recommendation i hope one of them is the fa- i hope i hope one of them is the full box set of facts of life Cor- yes bingo nailed it i just watched it all in one in one sitting and the, um, the other one's a documentary on european soccer yes bingo <laughs> actually amazon did several but uh no those aren't them so two documentaries and two tv shows so the first okay, uh, Jay, shows. Jay, do you want the documentaries? Or let's just discuss what we want from you, Peter, first. Jay, do you prefer the documentaries first or the TV shows first? The documentaries, because I usually eat my veggies before I eat the good stuff in the dinner. Oh, because I'm going to go with the TV shows. Is there any way we could settle this? Because there's one vote for the documentaries. And one vote for I could alternate. Shows. I could alternate. I give you a documentary <laughs> show, documentary just show. Just give us, okay, okay, give us the documentaries first. Okay, first documentary, Philly DA. Okay, it basically the guy who's the Philly district attorney, Larry Krasner, when he announced his run a few years ago, he allowed like a PBS crew to basically just report everything he did as he ran and like took office as the Philly district attorney when he won. And like basically the first year of his, you know, uh, attempt to like change the entire policing criminal justice system to the extent he can and like all the shit that he runs into. It is. It should be like required viewing in every every American school. I mean, it like it will unlock and show you like everything about like the, how insane our criminal justice system is. So, Philly DA, incredible. It's eight episodes and it's superb. Okay. Where uh, where do I watch that? Because I uh, you say you, PB, say you say PBS. You, okay. How PBS. do I or watch? You could just, how YouTube, do I watch? It's on YouTube. Okay, okay. Uh, is, P- is there a PBS on demand? Is, is PBS yeah, a channel is. on Netflix? <laughs> no. Yes and no. Um, but okay. it's on PBS. And you can just okay. download it like other ways as well, very easily. Um, but it's incredible. It's gonna it's just so good. Then that does that does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna I'm telling you guys, it. you you guys will actually I'm telling you you two, based on what I know about you, you will love like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to showcase four recommendations so grandly. If I, I had, am you know, writing down the Philly DA right now, I, I've heard of that. this guy, and I, I think he's supposed to be a pretty like, I like him. So yeah, yeah, he's, uh, yeah. he's he's good. All right, TV show, Gangs of London. It's on Amazon like Prime. You may need some sort of like weird AMC add-on nonsense to watch that way. You can also watch like the first couple of episodes on YouTube. It is. It is like it is such a well done, like slow burning, um, like crime politics intrigue show with like some of the m- best choreographed action scenes I've seen like in as long as I can remember. Like, it's by the really- way, Jay will have watched all this for next episode. Go on, <laughs> awesome, good. I would I would love if you guys watch any of this stuff. Anyway, it just follows basically. There's like a number of different gangs that work together in London. And they're, like, connected by a couple of threads. And, like, those threads begin to unravel. There's, like, family dynamics. There's, like, so many dynamics. It's not clear, like, what's good. But it's, it's like, a mix of, like, Succession and Game of Thrones. If Game of Thrones never, like, started sucking. Like, it's really, have, really good. Do they have British accents? Yes. They're all that's British a non, actors. That's a non-starter for me. I only watch British shows that don't have British accents. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm sorry. But <laughs> if you get over it. You'll you'll like it a lot. So you only okay. watch Killing Eve. I really. I've seen like a few episodes. I, I've seen like one or two episodes. It looked intriguing, but I just it never stuck with me. I watched the first season, and by the end of the first season, I didn't like. I didn't even love it. I, I, people really hyped that show, and I know Jay, you're a big fan of it. I don't know. It didn't do it for me. All right. Yeah. Um, and I tried watching the second season, and I was like, "This is just shit." Second season. Okay. But uh, next documentary. Go, 
okay. next documentary. And this one, this is like probably this may be the best documentary I've ever seen, like in my life. It's it's that good. Would you say this I, is like this makes Philly DA look like shit? No, it's it's like <laughs> if if this if this is like if like if Philly DA is like the um, Isaiah Thomas level, like this oh, is now what I'm about okay. to tell you is like the Jordan. This is like the Jordan to the like Thomas Barkley level like players, like Hall of Famers, but like that's the gap. Are so you saying fantastic. are you saying Philly and DA is kind of a dick, and like most other play, most other TV shows don't like him? No, that, I would have said Shaq if I meant that. Um, okay. So this show, this documentary, it's five episodes. It was on, just aired in February on the BBC. Um, it's called "Can't Get You Out of My Head." Okay. Okay. It's five episodes. It is basically a sort of like I don't want to use this term and make it sound like different from what it is, but I'd say it's in in the nature of like an impressionistic documentary. Like, it's not like cut to like, you know, Henry Kissinger. Well, what I thought was to go this way. And it's like, not that basically this guy was given like access to all of the BBC's like innermost archives, shit that had not been touched in like 50 years. And basically just through like historical images and like, you know, voiceover and like historical, you know, speeches and stuff. He sort of tells the story the emotional and like ideological story of like the West and the modern world, at, like over the last 60 or 70 years, basically with a focus on China, Russia, England, and the UK and the experience of like people there as like things have changed and ties it all together in this like insanely compelling thread. So it's really, it's, it's really fucking amazing. It's, it's really a masterpiece. Can't get you out of my head. And it's five episodes. Okay. Um, Last what's your thing, last one? Last one fiction show. This one is on regular Amazon. The Underground Railroad. Stupid sounding idea. The okay. show is inc- beyond incredible. Barry Jenkins, the guy who directed Moonlight, did the entire show. All 10 episodes or something. So, like, the direction is, like, out of this world. Like, every scene looks like it could be, you know, like a painting, more or less. Um the premise is basically it's, it's the Underground Rail story of slavery, Underground Railroad, except in this story, and it's based on a book, the Underground Railroad is a physical train like that is underground. That's like how it's represented. So the show also depicts a physical train underground, although it's not as big a character as you think. The, the big characters are the people in the show. Um, anyway, su- at points, super violent, super direct, but like incredible show like masterpiece level so these are my these are my four masterpiece recommendations for anyone of you guys who are interested or anyone of your uh, fans who are listening they're superb all right that is that is peter's four masterpiece recommendations every week he'll have four of the greatest shows ever aired we we'll recommend <laughs> them and if you don't watch them for the following episode you are a loser sir anyway yes um, I, precisely Peter expects a compare and contrast essay. You can do whatever symbolism you want in the show. I want to see essays on this work. I would recommend um, uh, 12 Monkeys. It's based on... Everyone's going to recommend shit? It's based 12 on, Monkeys is incredible. It's based on the uh, movie 12 Monkeys, but it's really good. W- wait, what is based on it? <laughs> the show is... Are you talking based- about... Peter, are you talking about the movie's incredible? The TV show? Or did you know there was a TV show? I know the movie 12 Monkeys, but you're saying there's a show based on the movie 12 Monkeys? <laughs> yes, there's, there's a four-season TV show based on the movie, and it's really I really like... <laughs> it's, it's called 12 Monkeys. Yeah, it's 12 also Monkeys called... is a show. I didn't know there was a show. Is it good? It's really good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I oh, love I this. I, I'm just loving this, because Jay's like, there's a show, 12 Monkeys, I recommend. Peter's like, it's amazing, and I'm like, wow, 12 Monkeys. Maybe Jay's on... Maybe Jay's has a good recommendation. Peter really likes it also. Then Peter has no idea of the existence of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's four seasons based on the movie. It's re- same name. It's really good. Did you ever see the movie uh, 12 Monkeys is based on, Jay? <laughs> Truly? Yeah. And there's, Wait, a, there's a movie 12 Monkeys is based on? Yeah, it's a French New Wave film. Uh, it's called like La Jete. Oh, no, I definitely didn't see that. I've only seen, oh, the, you should, I've only seen the TV show like La Jete. Oh, it was four class. seasons. It's the show that the movie La Jete was based on. 
you you if you if you're a fan of uh, which you seem to be like that story you you should watch uh la jete it's like it's um you'll see like stuff directly lifted from it in 12 monkeys like uh, uh what's his name um Brad Pitt. the guy who directed 12 <laughs> monkeys uh i'm drawing a blank on his name is it like uh, how uh, terry terry gilliam was like oh. su- super inspired by it, but basically, it's the La Jetée is like uh, set in like apocalypse, post-apocalyptic Paris. There's someone, like scientists, are researching time travel. There's some guy who's like jumping back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's it's really good. It's black and white. It's from like the '60s, like early early '60s too. So it's kind of like how Hunger Games completely ripped off Battle Royale. Precisely. Although that that at least like the funny thing about that is that's like cult like I'm not you know I'm not into like woke ass stupidity but that literally is just like cultural like you know appropriation just like the uh, the Departed ripped off whatever what was it called like Hong Kong Connection. Well, I, I didn't think Departed. I thought they like they I did Departed not give Hong Kong. I thought it was a remake of the Hong Kong Connection. I don't think they ever like featured that it, like in the beginning, but maybe I'm I'm mistaken. I thought, like from the beginning, the party was supposed to be a remake of whatever the that movie. Whereas, the Hunger Games and Battle Royale, which are clearly very similar, the claim is that they were just that just two people had the same exact idea in different parts of the world. And like she, she claims she did not rip it off. I th- was there a lawsuit about that movie? Uh, I don't know. It the sounds because the Hunger Games like, clearly, like clearly, the idea is like. The battle royale came first, and the idea is for like it's clearly she took that idea, or or maybe she didn't take the idea, but clearly the ideas are very similar. I don't know. I, some yeah. people just get away with it. Like um, the guy who did Ready Player One, his second book was Armada, which was Flight of the Navigator from the eighties. He just rewrote yeah. it, and there was no lawsuit. So I don't know. That's interesting. It's like Hollywood's like, you know what? We're just going to give you sequel after sequel after sequel. And when we present you with something original, it's just going to be a repackaging of some shit you saw before, too. Yeah. So, yeah. enjoy. I mean, also, like, Daddy Daycare 2 was a complete ripoff of Daddy Daycare 1. I, I the, the makers Dude. of Part 2 had to have known about Part 1. <laughs> this is the biggest, dis- yeah. biggest disappointment. Uh, truly, they should sue them. All right. Top five. Okay. Okay. So, we did a top five for the show. Um <laughs> The top five is the million dollar question. And I had some fun with this at least. Um, you would basically come up with questions for your co host where you say, Would you do this for a million dollars? Um, be like, uh, Hey, Jay, would you go jump? Would you go skydiving for a million dollars? That's a practice question. We have some. W- w- Jay, would you go skydiving for a million dollars? I would, but. And we all have to. We all have to admit, million dollars. It would change our lives. To win, yeah, get a million dollars, that's right? like one of my biggest fears. But I would do it for a million. Okay, Peter. Peter, would you go skydiving for a million dollars? We've gone. I've gone skydiving several times already. So yeah, sh- for sure. Okay, cool. Um, okay, do you guys want to? Who wants to go first? I, I can start. Start it off, Peter. Um, okay. By the way, by start off, jump out of an airplane now. Go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's my first one. Would you commit to never eating a banana again for a million dollars? Sure. So I mean, like, I, you, I like I like bananas, but I don't see a scenario here where this question gets hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never. Like you can't have it in any anything. Like you can't be in any food. Like you literally cannot have any banana. I mean, I mean how many foods do I have to things? avoid? I have to avoid a, I have to avoid a banana for and the rest banana, of your life and a, and a banana split. And, wow. and, banana, and banana bread. For the, you guys would forfeit for the rest of your lives, like seven I mean, years. I mean, it's like one thing for to a say, million dollars now. Yeah. It's one thing to say chocolate. This is like I, I think you could not have come up with an easier scenario. Like my, <laughs> my skydiving thing an, was an, was an easier scenario than this. It was it was a harder no, scenario sky, than this? No, no, skydiving was much easier. Like that's no, no, well, not like for there me, no. So few injuries, so few like deaths skydiving. But turning down a banana for the rest of my days. Like, what about when I go to a continental breakfast and stuff? Like, I'm not eating anything. I, I think there would be it's less terrible. deaths eating are bananas you, you than a, skydiving. Are you are you allowed to? Are you only allowed to not eat the banana? You're still allowed to have sex with the banana, right? 
I can still stick that my butt, right? No, no, no. Okay. How about, would it make it more difficult if it was any fruit? Yeah, obviously. All right, let's do that. I, I mean, that, like, that was like, you're, you pick like the like a lame fruit as it is. I mean, I like bananas. Dude. Not exactly, it's not even a health, not the most healthy fruit in the world. And you're like, dude, can, can you live without iceberg clutch. lettuce? Dude, banana is in everything. Banana is in like your protein shakes. Like it's in everything. It adds like so much to everything. I'm telling you, man. It's way more ubiquitous than you think. Try going like a week without encountering a banana. I, I can think, I probably didn't eat a banana in the last week. Not even trying. Lies. I don't believe, I need, I need to see the receipts. So how about fruit? No fruit at all. Would you forfeit I think, any I think fruit? Not eating, I think not eating fruit for my life, for my life would kind of suck. Um, I like fruit overall. I think for a million dollars, I might turn that one down. Jay? For a million dollars? I think not eating fruit is a big deal. I don't know. I have an extra, like, vitamin in the morning and, like, have a million dollars. I don't know. So would you do it? Would you turn to, would say no to fruit for the rest of your life? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah. I, okay. I wouldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even do bananas, guys. I can't believe you couldn't do bananas. I mean, that really is just the easiest fucking thing ever. I feel like it'd be easier to make a million dollars over the course of my life than to not to resist the allure of a banana. And I think you. Andrew I think that has to be the lamest question. No offense, Peter, but it's almost like, um, you know, like, can you, for a million dollars, give up eating baked potatoes? Come on, baked potatoes are in everything, dude. Dude, the skydiving one I thought was too easy, but trust me. Look, I, I'm set. I'm starting with the floor. It, it only okay, goes up I, I'm sure here. it'll get harder from here. I, I believe you. Um, Andrew in the chat room just said he never had a banana, like ever. No way. Andrew, I, I, want, you, I want his Andrew, DNA. Peter owes you a million dollars. <laughs> I want. I want. I want. I want a stool sample. Send, like, there's uh, no way. Send Peter your Venmo, and uh, he'll send you a million dollars. Yeah. Um, oh, Anthony, Anthony, not Andrew. Sorry. It's that guy. Um, my, my question, um, would you gain 100 pounds for a million dollars? You can do Tomorrow. once you gain... No, 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 no. This is something you have to... It's not like a magical, here's magical 100 pounds. You have to physically oh, gain yeah. the... You have to physically gain the 100 pounds eating whatever you want to eat, whether you want to do it in a healthy protein powder way or just eat lots of fat. Um, once you hit 100 pounds, you can do whatever you want to get the weight off. But you have to go through that process. Would you do that? No problem, easily. So giving up bananas was hard for you, but get <laughs> physically deforming your body not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, uh, shit. look, look! I'm a creature <laughs> ruled by you know my, my vices, and banana is simply one of them. Peter's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just eat. I'm gonna go 100 pounds with just bananas. <laughs> just pure bananas, man. How are you I'm gonna, gonna get fucking that eat on? to be fucking banana? Hey, when you said give up bananas, do I have to also give up the Woody Allen movie? <laughs> can you uh, never yes. <laughs> can you never listen to the Marx Brothers song, Yes, We Have No Bananas? Anything um, bana bananas are dead to you. Banana Rama is still cool though, right? Um, Jay, would yeah. you gain a hundred pounds no. for a million dollars? No. How about you? Oh, me? Um, no, I think that would be that would that would just destroy you getting a hundred pounds. Yeah, you're going to have like lap band surgery afterwards. It'd still be that's fucking a horrendous surgery. Um, I don't think I would do that. I think that would be. Uh, I would not do that. All Jay, right. Jay, you're up. You're up. Would you do one of those illegal street races? Somebody lends you their souped-up car, but you have to but drag. I, I love how different all these questions are. <laughs> it's great so far. <laughs> so you have to drag race through the streets. Aren't those aren't so I know not I've never been to a drag race, uh, but what I know about it is just from like things I've seen on TV. Aren't they usually streets that are kind of like quiet? Or are you saying are, they, are you saying through a street like through traffic? They are usually quiet. They're not guaranteed to be quiet. They don't close off the roads. Right, They're doing it like three a.m. or something, right? Yeah. So yeah. three a.m. I'm in like some random portion of the Bronx or something where like there's not a lot of traffic at that time of day, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna hit like gonna go two hundred five three hundred yards or two hundred yards as fast as I can. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever the, the speed is. Yeah. Do uh, I have to try? Can I just like? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You got. You have to go all in. Yeah. Um, all right. 
Um, you can't be like, ooh, I'm not going very fast when I'm pressing the brake. Yeah, you can't go like uh, 30 and hmm. then say, give me my million. Like, you have to I can't game it. Yeah, it. yeah okay. none of these things, you can't game, game anything. So you, things let's say you, you have to finish within like five seconds of the, the, if you don't win, you have to finish within five ooh, seconds. I think for, for a million dollars, I would go, I, I'd do this. I, I yeah. don't think this would be so. I know this is a little bit of risk in like a car accident, but mm-hmm. uh, outside of the car accident risk, I don't. The other risk, like getting arrested for this, I'll take the million. Right. I mean, I'd be more worried about dying than I would about getting arrested. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking the chances of. Uh, I, I I take the risk. I'm I'm in on this. Yeah, I, I think I would too. I I just I'd have to, and I'd be like. Because you could be like, you could feel, it's kind of like a gamble, but you feel like maybe it's stacked in your favor because, like, you're in control, like, truly in control, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I, mean, I think I would, t- I would take it. I also go with the chances are, like, you're, you're, you, you can see the whole course there. You can see big season straight ahead. There's no cars there. Obviously, a car can emerge, but you're this is a, a short race, um, just pressing the gas and going. I, I was thinking, like, one of those ones that's, like, a few blocks and yeah, you, have, you have to make some like a couple turns. of miles. Yeah. A couple of miles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it's not just like, it's not like a, like one like block where you're like, okay, this light to the next, like you're seeing like turns and like, yeah. you know, yeah. Oh, like drifting. Okay. So I really pictured it being like a straight, like, as I said, like I, 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 feel, I picture it being like three football. No, I'm talking like five minutes. You got to make a few turns. Yeah. Like, uh, like you play it like you play in a video game or something in like an interlude area. Yeah. Well, like I Grand I'm, Theft Auto. I am not. I you know I've done gone the uh, like the uh, like a go kart place and I'm not a very good driver at the go kart place. I feel like I would definitely crash. Yeah. Um But a million dollars, I could probably pay for any of the damage, except to the uh, except for the people I kill. <laughs> <laughs> that part of it's not so good, cool. That would be a big downer. I think I'm not going to do this um, out of probably out of fear for basically I'm, I might kill someone. Mm-hmm. This. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm pulling out because I didn't realize I'd be like Tokyo drifting. Okay. All right, Peter, you still you sticking with it? <sighs> yeah, I think I have to risk it. I think I got okay. it. Okay. Okay. And yeah, if people. I like mess up, I just like wash out. And I just don't get a million dollars, but like I try to minimize the damage, which hopefully I can. Listen, listen. I know your kid's dead now, but um, you want twenty percent? <laughs> uh, Peter, what's next? Okay, um, so this is, has a bit of a setup. So you are told that there is a person who's like really bad, like they're like let's say they're a pedophile or something. It's just a really bad person. Would you kill this person? Knowing a hundred percent beyond a shadow of a doubt, you would never. You're, you're asked, right? Someone like they had their child abused or molested or something, and they're like, so "I want you to kill this you're gonna person." Be, you're going to be you're going to be Dexter for a million dollars, and you're going to get away with it. Is that where you're going with it? You will a hundred percent get away with it. You will a hundred percent like not. There's no risk of this person like retaliating or like fighting back or anything. Like you basically, you know, whatever. Well, however you want to do it, but you are guaranteed perfect getaway and literally no danger to you whatsoever. Million dollars. Do you do it? How do I kill them? Can I can I stuff them full of bananas? It's up to you. Yes, that's an option. Okay. But it is, there's no... Uh, I have to plan the murder. You basically... Yeah, you're responsible for it, but like whatever you do, whether it's like poison or just walking up to him and shooting him or her or whatever or stabbing them or anything else you you know it's it's up to you to to ultimately execute like could i could i kill could i kill them by making them by convincing them to live in jay's old apartment and just wait for the black mold to do them in no and you can't kill them by just like waiting for their natural death of natural causes i don't know if it'd be natural death in the black mold but okay um i have to basically kill them in a short period of time is that what you're saying However yeah. you want, but like, yeah, within reason. Like, you you get a month or so to figure figure out your situation. Peter's like, it's it's day thirty. Can you fucking kill him already? <laughs> yeah, uh, you have like a month. Let's say, well, hey, two months. I'll be generous. Two months to figure it out. Mark, what are you working on there? I'm plotting. <laughs> shit. Look uh, away from the wall. Is anyone else going to know I did it besides Peter? Besides you? 
No, a- actually, even the person who asks you, you never see them again. It's just the only person who will know is you. And, can, I you know, with, can, I, can I live with murdering a bad person? Yeah, um, like actually for, doing it. Like pl- yeah, planning yeah, yeah, yeah. Next I feel like... I feel like... I don't know. I don't think I can really kill someone. I, I, they have to be a really bad person. And I'm going to get away with it. Yeah. I don't think I can. I don't think I, I, I just think, like, even with all these things for 100%, I'm going to get away with it. I feel like the, like, actually going to kill someone would be pretty fun. Like, it's one thing if you were, like, in a, in a heat of a moment. Heat of the moment. Just, yeah. Yeah. But in not, like, a pre, in a premeditated murder, I don't think I could. I'd be like, okay, cool. Got to commit murder. I guess I guess I guess I gotta research this. The best way to murder, um, librarian. Um, um, do you have books on murder? Um, no, no, not like fictional mystery. I mean, how to? Is there a how to guy? Just for saying, I'm, for I'm gonna get. It's a bad person. Just I need to research this. Anthony said he put so, him out in front of MSG in a Trey Young jersey, and everyone else would do the job for him. <laughs> That's hilarious. So um, you're a no. You're no mark. I, I am. I'm just not there. I just know. I. I just. This just sounds really like. I'm just saying. Is there a how to murder? How to murder for dummies book? I mean, you guys. You guys are missing a whole market here. I don't think I'd be able to do it. Um, that that would change you. I think a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then you'd be like, well, now I. Now I'm just gonna have to kill other people too because there are other bad people. I have the blood lost. Um, yes. Pete, by the way, Peter's, yeah. Peter's, Peter's about to do a big reveal on the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a Peter close like, one because... Jeffrey Epstein? That was me. <laughs> yeah. I did, it was a freebie. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of weirdly close. Because, like, some on some level, you're like, you know, I guess the person's got it coming and, like, you know, they're bad and they deserve it. But, like, on another level, like it really would be immensely terrifying and, and probably one of those things that like you would see literally every day for the rest of your life. Like yeah. in your every time you closed your eyes, it'd be really awful. Yeah. So I don't think I could do it either. I um yeah, that's a really that's a really tough one. Um okay. For a million dollars, I want you to be Forrest Gump and I want you to run from New York, the Atlantic Ocean, to California, the Pacific Ocean. You get the million dollars when you touch the Pacific Ocean. Um, as Forrest Gump says in the movie, you can you can sleep when you want, you can eat when you want. You just have to keep running and running until you hit the Atlantic Ocean. And expenses are paid as far as like we will pay your expenses as far as staying modest hotels and your food expenses along the way. Like any day time you need to stop, you could stop, but you have to run from New York, California, ocean to ocean. Do you do that for a million dollars? And you have as long as you want, but you gotta you gotta keep jogging until you get there. Can you walk? You gotta jog. You can walk for a little bit, but you gotta generally jog. Like you, you gotta can jog, you can be effort. as slow as shit, but you can basically you gotta jog. And you can train for this beforehand. You don't have to do it tomorrow. You can spend some time training and then do it. You wanna get your endurance to run the three thousand miles. Can I bike for any amount of it? Why do you take a fucking airplane while you're at it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I made the rules. You have to jog. And I said you can stop. Oh you, stop. Don't, you, oh, you don't like it when someone changes your hypo on you, huh? <laughs> no, no, only I get to change hypo. <laughs> um, I, don't, I mean, I would want to say, like, yes, I could do it, but I, I would fail. Like, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Like, I'd be so bored. Like I've driven through so much of America at like 110 miles an hour. And like, I, you know, I'm just like, Oh my God, what is this nothingness? Like, I, I just couldn't do it. How long would that take you? A couple months, right? Yeah. At um, least. Yeah. Let's just say you're assuming you're jogging. Let's say you assume you jog in a really slow pace. You're jogging three miles an hour. And you're probably jogging at most six to eight hours a day. So you're talking about 25 to 30 miles a day, and you have to cover 3,000 miles. You do it about, if you, if you maintain that pace, you can do it in about 44 days. 
Like if you did it literally every single day without like stopping. Yeah, okay. 44 and you days. Could, so, and you could stop for a little while and get back into it. So you don't have to like my, 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 my scenario. You could like take like you don't. You can run for two hours one day, then like six hours the next day. You can go as slow as you want. I mean, forty-four days for a uh, million dollars. Yeah, I would do it. Is it really? That's you, like. Are, are you right like, about forty-four days? It's forty-four consecutive days, like forty-four times twenty-four. So it's like, you know, one thousand hours of consecutive. You have to be. That's yeah, like no. I mean that 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 sounds like. Well, a, if you're running. If it's 3,000 miles, if you're running 25 miles a day, that's 120 days. That's four months. Yeah, I don't know where you get the 44 days. Like, I'm like, how many miles are you doing a day? Like, 44 days. I thought days. you said 30 miles a day. Yeah, so 3,000 miles, which again, it's a little longer than 3,000. Let's just say 3,000 divided by 44 equals 68 miles well, a day. Well, no, if you're doing 30 miles a day and it's 3,000, that's 100 days. Oh, Oh, I see. I see what I did. Yeah, I see what you guys are doing. You so you're you're basically saying like consistently no variation. Your like best day is thirty miles. Nothing mm-hmm. else. Yeah. That's not like the okay. Oh, I was just saying an average couple of miles. All right. What, what the hell was that, Jeff? Thank you, Andrew. We have a subscriber on. Uh... That seemed like the perfect music at the time. I don't know why. If, if really you cool. have uh, Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription a month. And you could use that on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash crumpled bacon. Thank you, Andrew. Peter. Do you have, do you oh, have really? Amazon Prime, Peter? Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, every American is required to have it, or else you get happy to get the hell of the country. So you can subscribe. <laughs> yeah. It, it helps right, out. Cool. The show. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. You'll be, so, my, you'll be my subscription. I think yeah, 30, so it'll be a while. Yeah. It's, it's 100 days, though. 100 days. 30 miles in 100 days. 130 miles a day for 100 days. Is it like. For a million dollars, it's really not that bad. Okay, the fastest run across the United States is 46 days, 8 hours, and 36 minutes. Uh, That's the fastest. And it was set on October 17th, 1980, a running shoe salesman. So something's up because he did it in 46 days. He went from New York. He set out from San Francisco to New York. He literally love, did it in, in that amount of time. That's crazy. I, I love our initial proposal was to set a world record. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. Okay. So that would have um, been a world record. Uh, from, like that's the best possible time. Anyway, go ahead. So go on. Oh, no, I'm actually going to look up the distance to the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It says 2,892 miles, so about 3,000 miles. Um also, you have to figure it, it's not necessarily a straight shot. You have to go around stuff. Like it's not going to be mountains. Yeah, there's mountains along the way. There's going to be there's going to be some some interference, basically. Um, some okay. Yeah, yeah so like, like mountains. Yeah, yeah. Like, I I think this would be a really tough thing to do. Um, as yeah. long as I had a trail that made sense. Like obviously you wouldn't go you go around the mountains, I guess, or whatever whatever you do. I think I would be down for this if there's a trail I could take. Jay? Are we still on the running thing? I spaced out. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Jay? <laughs> Jay, is okay. Chatterbait having a night, like a, a special tonight? No. What, 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 where were we? You were watching the Bucks game, or what were you doing? Yeah. What, what, where were we? Okay. I'm not watching Chatterbait, doing Frank instead. Yeah. Uh, Jay, Jay was like, I had to watch Philly DA. I'm sorry. I just started it during the show. That would be impressive, Jay. That would be Jay, very impressive. Okay, Jay, Jay go, to your, go to your question, your next one. All right, so you have to go spend 48 hours in the slums, in a slums of Venezuela with no weapons. Wow. Um, at hour 48, do I get, like, I'm, I'm, I'm out of there, no matter what. Yes. You you then get yes. you, a helicopter shows up, picks you up right where you are. Okay, so it's not. I mean, obviously, it doesn't sound like a good place to be, but I can try to. If I can survive for forty eight hours, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do it. Peter. Yeah, I I would do it without uh, much hesitation. I, I could speak Spanish, and I like have a, a darker complexion, so I could I could just roll roll yeah, around. Yeah, Mark, you shot. would be a you would be a target. Is it is it okay uh, if I say I'm with Peter? 
Like, is that, could that be my survival guy? Like, <laughs> can, we do it, can we do it together? Peter? No, I don't think that would work. You know, um, <laughs> I, I actually, I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for mine. I had something similar, but uh, Peter, what's your next one? Okay, my next one is uh, a little bit weird. Would you commit to walking around an elementary school like an entire school day while it is in session, aimlessly walking around into and out of classrooms, but not allowed to say anything to anyone at all? This sounds like an episode of like like a punishment for impractical jokers. Uh, yeah, sure. Or like you'll what? you'll face whatever consequences. Like they'd call the police and be like, "This guy is grouping on kids." Like you just or you have to evade evade suspicion or sort of like somehow make it work if i make it through the school day can i explain myself after i'm arrested no it has to be a mystery to everyone oh so i can never explain myself no and like you have to continue it has to be in your community too so like you know if a teacher sees you at like the library they're gonna be like that's the dude who just randomly walked around the elementary school all day can i can i take the million dollars to move (laughs) no (laughs) okay so now I'm like in a in a weird prison. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, sort of a yeah, exactly. Okay, so like, I'm I have to walk around the school. I have to have everyone think I'm a pedophile and then live in a town where I cannot deny I'm a pedophile. I think I'm going to pass this one, Peter. Well, they don't necessarily think you're a pedophile. They'll just think you're an extremely weird dude. I can't give any explanation from people say why are you here or why are you there. You can't say anything. You just can, You just have to look straight at him or, you know, that's it. Can I end? Can I end the entire period of the day being like, oh, my, can I get to say, oh, wrong elementary school? Because I actually have kids in elementary school, so at least I can get away with that a little more. <laughs> no. <laughs> can you hide? You can and hide. Se- and you seek. Have, you, you can hide. If you find a good hiding spot, you can try to camp out there. But, like, I'll, I'll add the caveat that, like, there are no like you know places you could just bunk out like you have to you have to be seen so what happens if you're found midday like let's say you're found right away and they export you out of the school but you still get the million no you have to survive an entire elementary school day okay can i can i just like go in there and teach <laughs> i mean you can <laughs> you i mean without talking i guess sure it's to be weird is that even weirder but yeah sure is, is it okay if I could, can I, can, can the elementary school be at a, at a, a, a French mime school? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess for a million dollars, maybe I try this. I, I don't know. Yeah, I would try Jay, you would? I would try it. Okay. If um, you're arrested, you cannot disclose anything. So they're like, why were you in, in the elementary school? And I'd be like, I don't know. Is that, is that my answer? No, you just have to be silent. So now I have to resist the rest or resist the police by just being silent. No, you're not resisting. You have a right to remain silent, actually, when you're being questioned by cops. Okay, so they question me, I don't speak, and then they arrest me and they ask me, What is your and the, the judge says, Why were you there? And I have to say, just not talk. Yeah, you just have to be silent. So I, I guess basically now I'm going from pedophilia to being just like in an insane asylum for a little while. Well, I mean, you know, there are lots of cases where defendants do exactly that. They literally just, like, don't say a word. And, like, they still get prosecuted successfully. Like, you know, you don't need to say shit. Like, they, they're the ones who have the burden to show the evidence. So they could make whatever claim they want to support, you know, the evidence. So they, uh, they, they, all they have me for is trespass. Um, okay. Well, who I guess knows what they have me for? What, what the hell am I doing in the elementary school besides trespassing? I mean, there's like laws, you know what I mean? There's laws that like basically say you cannot like, you know, be in an elementary school playground or elementary school area unless you are a parent. Like there are things there. I'm I'm a parent. A parent like a kid in the school. So I can't be, can can it be my kid's elementary school? It cannot be. You know, actually I got, I got, (laughs) I got, I got a a solution here. I got a solution. I'm going to go to the school, spend the whole day there in the summer. No, it has to be. Oh, like yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, I, I anyway, know. that's mine. You, you're, 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 yeah. Uh, Jay, you, you doing this? Yeah, I'm trying it. Okay. Um, Although I would probably be in jail before I'd get the million dollars. 
<laughs> it's, uh, would you be homeless for six months? Six months? No. no way. Yeah, I don't think so. No chance. Yeah. You could be homeless anywhere you, you want. Yeah, that's like being rough. homeless in San Diego or something like that, like a place with like a nice climate. No. I, I had a second one that my, my that was my two my 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 second one. Can, I had too many of these. Do you have um, any? Yeah, the, the, the other one was: um, Would you get dropped off with no money in the middle of Zimbabwe? Yeah. No. No, yeah. I think I think I'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, you're totally oh, fine. Zimbabwe? Yeah, totally fine. What? What was that? We have a follower. Okay. We got a follower. That's that's awesome. <laughs> I like how random oh. they are during the show. <laughs> Goodness me! Wait, was that a sound effect? Yeah, yeah. I had a sound effect. Th- there's wow. also a visual if you uh, if you're watching the stream when we get a when we get oh, a follower or subscriber. Jay, Jay took it for when uh, when like his the. The chatterbait he follows, they have the same sound where he follows. That, that was actually me. <laughs> yeah, it was you. I was like, it sounded like you. All right, uh, I, think, I think you're up, right, Jay? Yeah, so you have to fly a plane. The pilot is next to you, but he's tied up, so he can't grab the <laughs> controls, but he can tell you what to do. You have to take off and land a small plane. Oh, I have to take, I'm where to start on the ground? Yeah. I always feel like this would be worse if I started in the air. Um, he's going to tell me everything to do. Yeah. Step by step instructions. Mm-hmm. I just have to. Uh, you have to fly it. Though. Execute. Mm-hmm. And so if I'm screwing up, he'll say, "Don't do this. Do this." Right. I'll do it. Peter. I, I have literally done it, so I would do it. Hmm. Okay. okay. I thought that one would have been a little harder. <laughs> Peter Peter's was like, I, I was dropped off in Zimbabwe last week also. So yeah, Peter, you've done <laughs> I've done most of these things. Peter's yeah. done everything. I've done I haven't been to Africa. That'd be awesome though. Um Okay. I'm I'm halfway this to one, California right now. The, I'm jogging this as one, we speak. I have two that uh, three three remaining, but I'll give you the two that I or one right now. Yeah. This one I'm very proud of. Would you watch two random hours of friends every single night? For one year. Oh, Jesus. I think there are many Americans who are participating in this right now. I, I, I know there are. But <laughs> I know, I, but I'm asking it of you. Yeah, you asked me to watch two hours of the show Friends every night for 365 days. Is that what you're asking? Yes, yes. So yeah, basically sure. 700 plus hours of Friends. Yeah, yeah no problem. So it's you're like watching the... every episode like four times. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, t- I'm telling you, I couldn't do it. Like, if you, I, if you I, want, if you want, I will not eat bananas while I'm doing the show. I'll be watching it. <laughs> uh, I, like I, I would lose my mind. Um, I'd be like demented. I, I even think there are worse shows that you have to be forced to be like. I, I feel like if you were had to watch the Facts of Life for, for two hours a day every day, it would be worse than this. You know, without commercials, I don't that's, know. that's almost six episodes a day. Yeah, no commercials. Oh, there are no commercials. Oh. Cool. No, no, no. Um, what do you think of doing like broadcast stuff? Like, no, you're you're getting you're getting the pure stuff distilled into your brain. That's almost six episodes a day, so you're probably watching each. You're probably Can, watching each episode like five or six times. Is yeah. is the is the pilot um, from Jay's hypothetical still tied up next to me? Because I think I'm more in if he's if he's like, next to me, like walking me through the watching the show. <laughs> He's giving you a little on your own. The scenes trivia. You're on your own. And you can't watch it with anyone. It's just you. You have your, it's like two hours every day, six episodes. Full back attention. Back to back to back to back. No okay, cell phone. I, I want to point out that this, if all, all I have to do is watch the ep- two hours of Friends versus doing my actual job and make more money, much more money. I'm going to go with this. I think, I, I think I'd prefer <laughs> to watch two hours of Friends than do my actual job. So it's fine. You have the thing to is the psychological harm yeah, is really, like no, really um, deep. You're talking like no cell Jay, phone. Jay, you, you, can't, you, you have to you pay attention. Your job and just, you, you can take friends over your job. Friends is really bad. 
it's it's so bad. It's so much worse than you may recall. It's aged so poorly. It really is kind of like torturous. It was never good to begin with, but like now it's like it's like real torture, man. It's like it's you know at least the job harms you in like new and unexpected ways, and it's like got some diversity and there are people you commiserate with or whatever. Like friends, is, this is like pure psychological torture. P- Peter, like, what would what yeah. would stick with you more, the PTSD from that? Or murdering somebody. Honestly, man, maybe the Friends stuff. Or would you end up murdering like somebody if you had to watch Friends every day for two? Hundred percent. That's, that's how I'd you're probably, actually killing the person. I probably, I probably be like, I probably like you make it two million. I'll kill a person, but make me watch Friends for a year just to ensure I have the psychopathic rage to destroy another human soul. <laughs> like, please. So I, I'm gonna make this worse. We're gonna change our hypothetical site slightly. Um, instead of two hours of watching Friends, it's two hours of watching just the opening from Friends. The I'll be there for you. <laughs> no. Just over and over uh, dude, again. Definitely. I would do that for $10 million. I would do it for $10 million. Uh, That's a pretty good I, one. I wouldn't, I, I would be the same. Um, would you get a face tattoo? The face tattoo has to be at least two inches Long, like it has to be two. It has to be at least two inches wide and long. No, it has to be semi significant face tattoo. No. Not as big as Mike Tyson, but like as as wide as a golf ball. I guess. No. Or as wide as as wide as a marble. It's okay. not big enough. It's not enough money to retire, and you're never getting a job after you get that tattoo. I mean, that's a fair point. But you could be like, hey. There's a lot of jobs like you could be a bit of a bouncer with a face tattoo. You could be um No. No um, not doing a it. A guy that sells meth? Not doing it. Peter, face tattoo? Is it a temporary tattoo? Can we make a temporary tattoo in this? I mean I mean it's temporary in the sense of you could have <laughs> laser surgery after you get the million dollars. Um, um but uh, no so, I, I couldn't I couldn't do it just like Jay. it would just be uh, like there's no coming back from that, unfortunately, in terms of like people so thinking of you a different way. So I know Jay. Jay, you do not have a tattoo right now, right? I do not. And Peter, do you have a tattoo? Yeah, I have several. Oh, what do you What do you have? Oh, just like some sentimental stuff on my back and my arms. Nothing too like crazy. You have a tramp what stamp. Oh, I got a giant swastika on my head. Um, obviously, a Tweety Bird tramp stamp. Yeah, um, yeah. I was gonna ask several you pretty had... birds holding hands going across the small of my back. <laughs> Some bananas. <laughs> exactly. His, his, his face tattoo is a banana. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, if you had to get a visible tattoo, where would you get it? Um, and what would it be? I mean, like, like visible, like, can I get it on my arms or something? Yeah, like... it could be on your arms, on your legs. Just something like, if you were wearing shorts and a t-shirt, someone could see it. What if I tattooed hair on my head? <laughs> people that do that, be, dude. People, that be... that, that's an actual thing. People people do that, especially people who are, like, thinning. Mm-hmm. In uh, a lot of, like, um, countries, they'll just basically do, like, rudimentary, like, ink on their bald heads to think, make it look thicker. Um, Jay, we were I... going to hire you, but the hair <laughs> on the head... We're going with the face tattoo guy over you. I'm sorry. Well, I know uh, in Asia, a lot of the women have thin eyebrows and they get eyebrow tattoos. Oh, yeah. That's super there. common. That's yeah. common in Asia and Africa and Europe. Yeah. It's, it's much more common uh, than Jay, it is here. But... Does, does Kat do that? Yeah. She, does, she, has, she has she tattooed eyebrows? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's, it's super common. It's like, I would say even like the default in a lot of, a lot of uh, cultures. Um, I, I probably get one on my, like, uh, like my thigh, like facing away, like facing the front of me, like above my knee area. That'd be a decent place to get another one. And what, um, would you, what would you get? I always thought it's probably corny now, but when I was younger, like the profile of the, um, the Voyager probe, uh, is really interesting. So it, like as a, just the design of the probe itself is really sort of cool and iconic, but there's something else interesting on it. There's um, you get a on, probe. On, you you get a probe near your anus. 
Well, my anus is in my back, so it would probably not be that close. But like, yeah, okay. I think I, I get that. But like, uh, on the probe itself, there is effectively a map to the solar system. So if it's ever discovered by any kind of like civilization, based on these pulsars, which are like stars that stay in the same spot and spin at fixed frequencies for like billions of years, like there's this map literally that if you are an intelligent civilization, you could like look at it, look at the sky, figure out where the pulsars are and figure out the exact location of the solar system based on this map. And it's a very like cool, it's like very well designed. And I always thought that the solar system pulsar map would make a cool tattoo. I'm sure, I'm sure it's been done many times, but I like that idea. Okay. Can I get a tattoo of a mole next to one of my other moles? <laughs> so it just fits in? Yeah. I actually asked that at a tattoo parlor once when one of my exes was getting a tattoo. And yeah. the, the tattoo guy got, like, legit mad. Really? Uh, yeah, like, I was wasting his time. I'm like, you're already doing a tattoo. Like, I'm just just making just talk. Just fucking with you, man. We're just talking. Yeah. yeah. Jay, what's, your, what's, what's, what's your next question? Would you date a Kardashian for a month? Now, remember, when you're doing this, everybody's going to be digging into your personal life. And so nothing's going to be a secret. Is my, is my wife cool with it? Say alternative universe. You're single. I'm um, sure. I'm pretty sure. I mean, your life can go to ship David Kardashian, but like it's one thing if you're a famous person, you date a Kardashian, then your life, you end up being like on crack. Um, but if you're not famous, this could be your key being on a reality show and making millions of dollars for doing nothing. Plus, you get the million for... I'm all in on this. Hmm. Okay. I'm letting enlightened media destroy my life, and I'm... I'll I'll, I'll, I'll ride this bizarre train, because I'm also single in this, and, like, mm-hmm. and maybe it'll take me in some interesting directions. Peter? Uh, yeah, same same reasoning as you, Mark. I, I couldn't resist it. I'd just be like... Uh, like that would be enough money for me to figure out my shit like afterwards and sort of find somewhere where I could like get a low profile. Like I just leave the country for a while or something. Yeah. Or you could somehow use this to get more money and I don't know what you do with it, but you can maybe find some way to use this in a good, good direction. I don't know. Okay. Peter, what's your next question? My next one is, okay. Uh, So I have, here's the bonus one. Would you make out? You guys are both like straight gentlemen, heterosexual, cis dudes. Would you make out with a dude on the NBA kiss cam for a million dollars? For a million dollars? Yeah. For like again, it, least, it, like, again, I don't want to ruin my. So we're going with a hypothetical. My wife is cool with this. Because I went for a million dollars, it would not ruin my marriage. But as long as she's cool with this or she doesn't exist. Sure, why not? Well, I guess that begs or like makes me think, would your wife be cool with it? If you were like, this guy offered me a million dollars to make out with some random dude on Kiss Cam, what would she say? She'd say you're a fucking moron. <laughs> like, don't uh, do it? it, it and in de- no, she'd be like, why are you, why are you falling for this? Sca-? But anyway, so let's just assume like my wife believes this, that the indecent proposal. Yeah, she believes like, it. Let's say it's legit. Would she tell you okay? Or would she be like, not cool with it? For a mil- she'd be like, for a million dollars, I don't have to. Um, you kiss a dude, and I don't have to work anymore. Yeah, go for it. You could, you could, you could finger, you could, you give him a hand job, whatever. I don't give a shit. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Let's assume that's how it turns out. So it's just up to you now. You know, like your colleagues, coworkers, family potentially might see it, or nobody might see it. You know what I mean? Oh like- yeah, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, gone, I'm all in. My, my wife says it's fine because she doesn't want to work anymore, and I'm like, ah, then I'll make her happy. Uh, I, I will go make out with a hairy, hairy man for the length, just for the just for the the time that the kiss cam thing is on. Yeah, the once kiss the kiss cam, cam is, like, is off me, I'm done. Kiss cam is like fifteen five seconds. seconds. Fifteen seconds. We're saying no. Yeah, this is a special. I, I am confident. Fifteen I am comfortable, seconds. I am comfortable in my manhood to make out with a dude for fifteen seconds for a million dollars. Sure. On national TV. Okay, uh, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in on that. Okay. That was just the teaser, and here's the last one. If you knew 
that taking a million dollars would curse a close friend or even a family member, not you, but someone else's life would get much worse if you took a million dollars. Do you take a million dollars? Someone close do, to you's life will get do, much do you, worse. Do, you, do I now tell Jay that I already did this? That's why it explains his, his misfortune. <laughs> that's how you that's get a, your house. That's you afforded the mansion, huh? Um, do I, uh, do I, so do I take a million dollars if the million dollars means someone I know will suffer greatly? Not their physical pain, cursed. but their life will get, their life will get shittier from here. Yeah, significant. I, no, like abs- the- absolutely, absolutely not. I, I do not, I could not do that. I am not someone who will, if, if a million dollars meant Jay's, Jay's life suddenly got a lot worse, I would not do it. I wouldn't do it either. Jay, what if it meant um, Stephen, our, our former crazy fan, his life got worse? You don't even know he's still alive. You just know if he's still if he's still alive, his life will get worse. Would you do it? I mean, based on what he told us, can it? <laughs> so, Andrew said, "You also get a boner during the kiss cam. Do you still do it?" Oh hell yeah, that's a great that's a great proposal. Visible so I boner. Out, I find out during the kiss cam, I'm into it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's visible, visible. visible. Ah, still, yeah, you know what? It's a million dollars is still a lot of money. I'm, I'm down. It's, it's, what was that whole thing of like, would you fight Mike Tyson for a million dollars? This seems easier. Mm-hmm. All right, would you would you have sexual intercourse with this man for a million dollars? No, no. Not, not, not on NBA TV. No, <laughs> no, no, not on NBA TV. Just would I have sex? Would I would I have sleep with a dude for a million dollars? No. Indecent proposal comes your way. Because you're going to follow through with this. For, like, you're like, Jay, well, then I have a question for you. Uh, I, I'm not doing it. No. I, I will lock lips for 15 seconds uh, for the kiss cam. I will not take it in the back door. Not even for a mill. Not even for a mill. No. Jay, what about you? I don't think so. If you added a zero to that, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 10 million. Now we're, uh, now we're talking. Yeah, take a zero off while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was going to get paid for this. That's um, amazing. Okay. okay. That's funny. That's it for have, me. Thanks for entertaining. Um, have a baby. What, I like out of my dick? <laughs> no, 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 no. You can, you can have a baby. Um, Peter, like junior? Are we talking about a junior situation? No, no, no. Just like literally have like Jay could get his girlfriend pregnant and have a baby. Peter could find a girl and get a, get her pregnant and have a baby. Legitimately, just have a baby for a million dollars. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because like, at not, least it would have a college fund. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's not like this is not like oh, I get that. Like, you will have all like you probably want to be a good parent. This is a gigantic commitment that you have not made up to this point in your life. Would you just do it now that you were offered a million dollars? Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I thought that would be a little harder one. Um, I had two other quick ones. Um, would you film a porn for a million dollars? It is, you okay. have to be in the porn for at least one hour in multiple scenes. You don't have to you know last one hour. Uh, no, everyone, you have to be visible. That's you. You're in multiple scenes and it's it's available on any porn site. It's on por- uh, you porn and any other site you, people can find it. Did they put your name. Is it themed? Like, can I play a pirate or something? As long as, as long as your face, there's no mask on your face. As long as your face is completely exposed and you are naked, you can, girls, you, you don't have to do dudes unless, unless, unless you want to, but uh, you're just like straight porn, but you're in a porn when you do it for a million dollars. And per- it's just something, it's, if people look up your name, they won't find it, but they look up your name on a porn website, they find it. Can I just be one of the dudes who's like naked, just sitting in the background while you are just, like, a star? Out? You are a star. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that was my question. Like, all in on fucking, um, and you can you can pick the porn stars. It could be hot porn stars. So you're you're damn. It's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. You could be in. You have to be in multiple scenes. You don't have to last long. You do whatever you. Uh, but you are, and you. It's safe. Just pretend for this. It's 100 percent safe as far as you're not going to catch anything. Um, and you can pick hot porn stars. But you will be in a porn that people can find online. Uh, probably for the same reason as the face tattoos. As much as I'd love to say yes, I must say no. Okay. J, 
Jay, one hour of your time, multiple scenes of a porn. Maybe it takes two hours to film. I don't know. Um, you Maybe it takes room. 10 minutes to film. <laughs> 10 minutes to film. Okay, you're just, this just takes a, 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 just a part of one day, and you'll get a million dollars afterwards. The problem is if it's searchable, like, it's not enough to retire on. You're probably not going to get a Let's just say job. it's not searchable on Google. Do I have a fake name? Can I use a fake name or am I like my name? Yeah. Okay. How about this? You can call yourself whatever fake name you want. But it's visibly you. 100% pistol, you. If so, anyone would recognize pistol, you. Pistol Pete, for sure. Yeah, anyone <laughs> would recognize you, but you don't have to use your real name. Yeah, I think I would do that then because... I mean, there's there's just so much out there. I feel like it would get buried within a few minutes anyway. And also, you have no problem actually doing the porn. Like, in front of a ton of people, just fucking. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a bunch of people there, too. Huh? Yeah, like, this is like an open set. Like, it's like, what I, I don't have, whatever pe- number of people are on a, a regular porn set, there's got to be some people, like, there. Um, you're doing multiple scenes and whatever, and hot porn stars, but it's going to be fucking weird. It's going to be really weird and awkward, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's filmed like a movie, right? Like, the director was like, cut, okay, now lean over, like, turn your dick six degrees, a little bit more. Like, yeah. Oh, they, they pull that audio out, obviously. It's, like, not on the... I think, you know. I think I'd think i be like, you know, I could kill the pedophile instead. I'm just going to go back into computers. <laughs> That's a tough one. That is a really tough one. Dude, I, I saw like a YouTube video about like the, the actual filming of porn like forever ago, and there was this guy who had like like a dude who used to be in the porn industry who had left it, and it's funny because usually you'll find like women be like, oh, I, I left, it. but anyway, he was like, it was a nightmare. Like dudes are paid way way less. We're expected to perform like like robots. Like they literally like some directors will literally inject your dick with like a liquid Viagra thing, like to just ensure like it just keeps going no matter what. Like literally they will inject their penises. I was wondering like, how some of those guys just never finish. Never what? Finish. Never finish. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, I assume they use something that was not natural, but uh, that's uh, it's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can, I, I, I would have a lot of problems actually performing on like, just not like I just being in the, everything about it would be just such a weird experience. Anthony says, would you watch the woman you love having sex with another man for $10 million? Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, the only single I would, member I of would, the show would, is like totally I would, down. I would literally be like, you can have sex with every woman I have ever loved, man. You get the package deal. I just find them. Like, I'll, I'll sit here with some popcorn. Like, okay, just keep Peter, that money Peter, flowing. Since you're not attached right now, um, this would replace a girl you love with your mom? I probably can't. I'm not going to, not going to, that's sort of one of those things that never leaves you. So no, I, that's possible. So, so if you're married, you're watching your wife fuck somebody else for 10 million. Yeah. I'm Dude, not, I'm not, 10? I'm, I am not destroying my life for $10 million. Uh, so I, well, I mean, it, it, I, I, like, I think kind of your caveat of earlier, Mark, which is like when the dude in the NBA kiss cam, like you're like, if, if she's cool with it, you, you know, you're cool with it. Like if she tells you like, I'm cool with it, it's really completely up to you. And then right. it's really I'm not going to get over it. It's, it's going to be okay. too weird for me to get over. It's going to be too weird of a situation that I'm, I, I don't think, I don't think I can get over it. I think it'd be just such a weird fucking situation. And the rest know. of your life, people, unless you're like, people are like, yeah, I mean, nice car. I guess that dick that your, your wife paid for it. Yep. You did. I'm just yeah. going to drive this car for Cliff. I, I, I don't think I can uh, do it. I mean, I, $10 million, uh, you could literally move wherever you want and be whatever. But beyond it, it's just like interesting to see that like that is a bigger hill for you like psychologically to climb than like Murder. making out with the dude on national TV. <laughs> Not to say that it like has any implication. I'm just saying like for me, like sex is sex. You know what I mean? Like, like I have no issue. Like I know that many girls I've dated have boned a lot of dudes before me, probably boned a lot of dudes after me. Like it's sort of whatever. And that, like, I guess I don't attribute 
the same value to it. Like I'd probably be a little bit like scarred and sort of impacted and just like, it would be a little bit weird, but like eventually it would just kind of fade into memory as just like a thing that like allowed you to get ridiculously rich. Like that $10 million, like, Look, 50 grand know. or 100 grand? No, but like 10 mil? Like, yeah, sure. I don't know if I want the money that badly. I, I have to say, like, I, I just think you're like, so you, you, I think it ends your marriage because at some point you're not going to get past it. It's going to be a weird thing in your marriage. You'll, you'll not get past it. And then you're like, then the question really is $10 million, you can live a great life outside of that. But like, do you want to end your marriage for $10 million? It, it, there's like a whole that. universe of people who are like, you know, and you have, I have kids, and, like, swingers and stuff and they're like they have kids and stuff too like i know it's certainly possible yeah, for people no, to have like course. good relationships and stuff so i i would just try to really maybe i'm maybe i'm overstating my own confidence and my own like openness or whatever but i'd like to think that like you know i would be among the people who i'm like okay i'm cool with it just like i hope that if like i you know my wife or whatever made a mistake in judgment at one point like hooked up with some other dude I wouldn't like immediately be throwing divorce papers at her. Like I like to think that I'd get over my like anger or betrayal and like decide in a more, you know, I don't know, well, like wise way what, what well, to do. The thing is, while $10 million would be nice, I think I'm going to instead take a million dollars from the whole not even banana thing. That's just gonna be better. <laughs> Jay, for you, you love your girlfriend. Um, your girlfriend says, sure, fine. I'm down to have this big black dude and he's like 12 inch cock. Um, we, are you going to sit there and watch her and then take the $10 million? I feel like it would be very, very tough, but 10 million is like neither of us <laughs> ever have to work again. Like, I don't no, know. you're dude. done working. That's really done working. I figure I'd it, 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 spend like 50,000 nope. on therapy and then I'd keep the rest. I mean, I'd Dude. spend first 8 million on therapy. <laughs> spend, spend one, no, just spend like 50 grand getting like the hottest, like escort you could find and then make her watch you bang her even <laughs> done. Do you, uh, do you remember the, uh, do you guys remember Robert Schimmel, the comedian? Mm -mm. No. Jay, you remember him? I don't think so. Five, like 15 years ago. He was really funny, very dirty comedian. He talked about like, that whole thing of like, would you uh, would you fight ten, uh, Mike Tyson for a uh, hundred million dollars? He's like a hundred million dollars. I would blow Mike Tyson in the set in the uh, in um in the middle <laughs> of the ring in front of my parents. He's like, I spend fifty million on mouthwash and then I'd be good. <laughs> yeah, um, I think like ten million. Once you get into that like sort of insane, like you know, it, like eight figure realm. Mm -hmm. There's like very little most but people you... who are actually thinking about that quantity of money wouldn't do. It's like, sure, like whatever you want, like 10, 10 million. Like I'm literally that's like fuck you money, which is ultimately what like everyone. That's literally the tr the real American dream is having enough money that you could tell basically everyone, including the government, like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Like and ten million dollars every... is a nice nest egg towards that goal. Everyone, you know, has basically lost all respect for you. Bullshit. Come on. Like, I have, I have friends who've, like, cheated on their spouses and whatever and, like, sometimes more openly and brazenly than, like, you know, discreet, like, French person would. I haven't lost respect for, like, the person who got cheated on. Like, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Like, people so wait, are you, do whatever the hell they want. The 10 million, are you letting your mom do this, participate? No. Okay. So you're saying no to that one. Jay's, Jay was in for, like, $100 with his girlfriend. Um, I'm saying no, 10 million. I don't think I'm doing it. I do a girlfriend wife for like a million. Yeah, but I, I feel like, I feel like it doesn't count because you don't, since you don't actually have a wife. Um, not the yeah, uh, I've like had, you know companions. I, I'm sure you have, um, but they're not. <laughs> it's easy to be like that. That girl I used to sleep with that I don't sleep with anymore. Sure, let her get railed for ten million. Sounds great. Um, I mean, yeah. yeah, I'll let you know um, if my views change, but. Tell Andrew if he's got some some cash, I can get um, a wife and he could bone her for ten million. You know when you know in sports where guys like tie each other in the butt. Oh, uh -huh. kind of weird, right? But like it's a big thing in sports. You like you hit the guy in the butt, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you it have is weird. to you have to greet everyone you see. Both greet them and say goodbye to them by hitting them on the butt. 
<laughs> for a year. Is do people know this is my thing? I mean, you could tell them that's your thing. You know, you like, can't tell them you're getting a million dollars for it, but you just like hit oh. them in the butt and be like, "Oh, that's just my thing." So I say bye. But you have yeah, to I keep get fired to... immediately, so <laughs> yeah, and not be that. employable ever again. Because I'd be the weird lawyer who smacks everyone's ass high and by. <laughs> Hi, Everyone Your Honor. Like, do you mind? Uh, thank you. I mean, it also, you're just talking about the dudes. All the women, like, you're, like, randomly no when you, uh, you're, like, you're, like, I wasn't coming on. I just, that's just how I say hello. I'm not, again, not harassing you. I just gently tapped you in the behind. We're just like we're athletes. <laughs> yeah. Anthony wants to know if you'd watch your parents have sex. When I watch I my that. Would I watch my I parents have sex? For $10 million, you wouldn't watch your parents have sex? No, for free. Nope. Oh, for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it's free, then I'm all in. Jay, so would you slap people on the butt? I feel like that would burn way too many bridges. <laughs> you, you might even get arrested. It probably not. I'd just say hello back. and a goodbye. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, we're done Jay, with... You have any other questions? We have an email. Uh, we have four Facebook questions also, which okay. are fast. Uh, the brink of sanity at gmail.com lorenzo writes hey guys great to hear you back on brink recently and know the mouse plague has yet to hit me here in australia here is one for jay growing up my favorite music artist was rapper buster rhymes then i sort of went off of him and music altogether but now i'm back and listening to him again but the problem is that i have kids the same age as marks so i can't listen as much in the car that i would like to but then i found on spotify he has released a new album without an explicit version and the one with the swears cut out is this blasphemy Bust the rhymes in the chipmunks <laughs> this christmas is this blasphemy in the eyes of a music purist like yourself i would have trouble i would have trouble listening to an album with the curses blotted out it would be they, really bad are they bleeped out or are they substituted because like I've heard versions of the songs where it's like instead of the curse, they they say like some other random word. They record the non-explicit version. So, or a lot of times, like a lot of times it's like a, just like a, a a gap in the lyrics. It's just like a oh, that's 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 unlistenable. That's not yeah. that's not the song anymore. Yeah, exactly. Especially, does he have like was he saying? But the bus is still still curses a lot. It's just yeah, that just does not the curse words. Right, but like. What, I don't know. With that kind of music, there's a lot of curse words, so that could really ruin the flow of a song. I can't imagine Buster Rhymes has any any new good songs either. <laughs> <laughs> Just I have trouble believing that. Um, definitely, said, definitely the best part of Wu Tang Clan ever, guys. <laughs> I think we all agree on that. I like Buster. I um, but that's yeah. Am I getting a million dollars listening to that? And then he says, sometimes he listens to Brink with his wife in the car. He's got to make sure that this episode she never listens to. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is, of all episodes, this is the one that he must have her listen to. She like, this, like is, this is, this is the screaming one. screaming at him. She's like, listen, get some guy to make us an offer. <laughs> so you'd fuck yeah. a guy, murder somebody, and watch me have sex with somebody. <laughs> it started out so... So innocent with the banana question. <laughs> really went downhill from there. Yeah, we went from like street uh, racing and bananas and like this really went down. Here's, here's, here's what I want you guys to imagine. I want you to imagine a single person doing all of the things we discussed today and accumulating like, you know, I guess like 15 or 16 million dollars. Like the same person goes into the elementary school, kills someone, <laughs> bangs a dude. Has their wife get banged? Like all of these things, and like what a what an incredible life that would be. That would be like a life worth, you know, memorializing like a movie or a biography. Forrest Gump Part Two. Oh hell yeah, that's that I, that's the Forrest Gump I want to see. Um, I, that's done with the emails. Yeah. Okay, Andrew writes top three trilogies, movie tril trilogies, as if there are any other. Original. Original Star Pretty Wars. Pretty cool. Agreed. What did you say? What's the first one you said? Original Star Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put up there, and I'm just not counting every... I'm counting just the first three. Nothing was made afterwards like you did with Star Wars. The first three, Die Hards. Okay. I'll round it out with probably the best of all, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, of course. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
extended. I'm not, I'm not definitely not a fan of that, but I, I understand that being up there. Um, it's probably the greatest one I've ever. I'm just not a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. Alien. What else is up there? Right, so. Alien trilogy. Oh, what do you say? Alien. Are all three good? Alien. Yeah, Alien, yeah. Aliens, and yeah. Alien Three. Yeah, all really good. Uh, Terminator could have been really close, but they they messed that up. But I, Terminator I is three. like two thirds of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I also, three wasn't but, uh, bad, but it definitely wasn't up to one. And it has two. to be. Yeah, just a bummer. All three have to be kind of strong. Back to the uh, Future. Oh my God. Yes. I forget. Back to the Future has to be definitely yeah. top five. Mm. Back to the Future, I definitely put up there. What about the the new Planet of the Apes trilogy? Uh, it's it's really good. I, I would put it in the, that level of Back to the Future and Star Wars and LHER, but like, yeah, it's very good. It's very Is confident. That, I, I only saw the first one. The, third, the next two were really good. Yeah, it's a really good. Very trilogy. good. Yeah, mm. really good. I mean, I like the first one. I just never saw the other two. But I, I, I can see them being good. Um, what, what about else is up there? The dollars. Oh, um, Naked Gun. No, no. no. Uh, they dropped the ball on the third, thirty-three yeah, and really, third. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Um, what about the Dollars trilogy? The what? Dollars. Uh, Clint Eastwood, Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more in the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. That is fantastically great. I never saw it. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's really good. It. Uh. The Dark Knight one, the Batman trilogy is pretty oh, good. Oh, that was pretty good. That's a that's a good one. I didn't like the third one at all. With Bane? Really? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was super cheesy. It, it, I have to agree with Jay that it was I liked it enough, but I thought it was very super it was super cheesy. I was I like laughing that. at the end of it. I just thought it was really cheesy. I yeah. thought Bane yeah. was one of the one of the worst villains I've ever seen. Like he was just such a like it seemed like a joke basically. And then Robin checks into the hotel and his name is Robin. Yeah. It was more like ambitious than like like he like didn't have the right like it was more ambitious but it ended up because like I don't know just the chemistry or something it ended up having like one percent campiness which was so weird from the series mm-hmm. that you're like what the hell like it was drifting in that I mean it was nowhere near the Schumacher insanity but it like even just one part per million mm-hmm. of that made it like uh this this guy's not really that. I would rather. Did, did you did you did you hear Bane's voice for the first time when you were like, did anyone in the editing room listen to this voice and think like maybe we should change this? Right. Well, they actually did change it. It was worse yeah. before. It, it, it's possible that it was worse. Yeah, they redid all the audio, and it was yeah the, before that it was even worse. You couldn't hear a thing. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, I still enjoyed the third one. I, I just thought it was like, you know, we had such high expectations. I think. Okay, so here's a question. If you had to pick only... Oh, by the way, um, Godfather. I never saw two and three. Uh, Same. I only saw one. Okay, actually, I never saw three, but three is on the back rate. Two is fantastic. You guys should see two. I would throw in the Mad Max trilogy. Uh, Mm. Okay, I was going to say, you have to... You can only watch one of these trilogies on a Sunday. Which one would you watch? Original Star Wars. Yeah. Lord of the Rings Extended. I'm going to go with Die Hard. I didn't think Die Hard aged very well. Really? Yeah. I thought the first one was great. And the third one I think is great. second one was a little weaker. But uh, you didn't think it aged that well? He's like crawling through the ducks. He's like, what am I, a microwave dinner? I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan. Um... Andrew writes, how is the train ride to the city from Jay's new place? I'm guessing Jay does not know the, the answer yet. No, I do. It's it's not bad. It's uh, I'm a five-minute walk to the train, and it's like 35 minutes to Midtown. It's, it's not bad at all. Oh, is it you taking the train from there? Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't know you, take, you, take it. You, you took the train during COVID? Yeah. Oh, wow, Jay. I mean, I, had, felt, to, you... I had to get here to sign the, the mortgage. Oh. Uh, so wait, you were oh, you took the train unvaccinated. I had to. I had no choice. No, I'm just saying, Jay. Uh, for a long time, we just make fun of uh, the fact that I wasn't being so safe uh, when he himself was just taking trains anywhere he wants to go. Actually, I got vaccinated on the way to sign my mortgage. Yeah, it's not, it's not affected that fast, but I, 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 knew. Knew, I knew I knew that. I know, but I did it same day. So. Um, I went on my first like vacation since this whole thing like a few weeks ago, yeah. and I was in like uh, like basically South Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho area, like near Yellowstone and 
Grand Teton in the Badlands and stuff in the Black Hills. Beautiful, like stunningly beautiful, awesome trip, like incredibly great. But literally, like nobody like seems to have ever worn a mask. They literally just sort of wrote all the shit out. Nobody was wearing anything, like no masks, no anything, no restrictions anywhere. Um, but like you realize that part of the reason you have this like anti-mask shit in some parts of the country, it's because like geographically everything is so goddamn distant. You don't like see or interact with many people at all that you don't know or trust that like, you know what I mean? Of course they should have still like worn a mask, but like the culture there is grows out of the distance between everything. Um, but yeah, like no one was wearing a mask to like anything except, you know, the federal employees I encountered at the parks. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and uh, Patrick writes <clears throat> how many times has Jay been arrested surprisingly none I had uh, quite a few close calls but uh, never got arrested congrats Jay uh, I know Peter, job, Peter, Peter Peter had a famous uh, story about being arrested um, yeah. on the show which we don't need to relive but a uh, very good story and Andrew writes would you rather? Would you rather the dis this, this discography of Sparkles is lost forever? <laughs> I think he means. But sparks. so is the discography of Drake, or no discography dis discography <clears throat> of both are lost, but every second song that Jay listens to has to be a Drake song forever. What the hell is Sparkles? Uh, he means sparks. Oh. Um, oh. They just came out with a uh, sparks. sparks is a shitty uh, European band. They just came out with a Sparks documentary, actually. And, and Peter, how did you not recommend that one? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I've seen it or heard of it. Uh, so Jay, are you losing the uh, discography of Sparks, or are you gonna listen to Drake? Every other song. Every other song you listen to has to be uh, God's God's Plan, whatever the hell the songs are. I can't do it. Sorry, Sparks. I just, I can't do it. I listen to way too much music for that to be a thing. Yeah. I'm That's like friends level for, for, for you. Yeah. Like it's just not, not doable. Like I'm listening to like Pink Floyd, the wall and started from the bottoms, like every other song. Like I can't do it. No. Dude, you, you'd never be able to listen to an album ever again. No, never. Um, so Peter sent us some really good topics for the show. We've gotten to literally none of them. <laughs> um, I'd like to get to them. Just not tonight. So maybe we'll have you. Maybe we'll come on again soon and do all these topics. Yeah, yeah, whatever. No, no worries, man. Um, but I think we're. Uh, I think we're almost out of time. Yeah. Um, what What did we learn today? We learned. Well, Anthony said Peter's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Anthony, Anthony's the one with ten million bucks to throw around. I'm just there to catch it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Mark liked that one. <laughs> I don't know why this. I don't know why this just struck a chord me. Um, okay, I think we can close with that. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, Peter. Um, I think I don't think we actually introduced you uh, at the beginning of the show, but that was Peter. Hey, everyone. Um, um, yeah, thanks. I, know it's, I thought this top five went really well, though. I love the top five. I think it yeah, did. Yeah, All right. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us in the chat. Uh, basically, Anthony and Andrew. And um, we'll be back soon. This is the end. Say goodbye.